When we talk about the greatest guards ever in the NBA, there are only a handful who even deserve to be in the conversation with Kobe Bryant. One of them is fellow Laker Jerry West. And it was West, as GM, who brought Kobe to L.A., trading for him on draft night in 1996. West saw the potential others did not. Few in the game knew Kobe better as a player and as a person. You know, I was in the airport on my way up here, and uh, people would come up to me and say, hey, do you play basketball? And I said, yeah, you know, I play basketball. And they said, well, what team do you play for? I'm used to saying Lower Mary High School. So I'm there, I'm like, well, I play for Lower Mary High. No, you know what, I'm a Los Angeles Laker. <laughs> and Kobe, uh, this is for you. People always ask me about him. How do you know he was going to turn out like he did? Anyone could have seen this if they had paid attention. Anyone. So you say that he, he, anyone could have seen it, but not everyone did. So what struck you about him then when he was 17 years old? He was different, okay? You could see it. You could feel it. We honestly felt that he was the number one player taken in the draft, and there were good players there, and Allen Iverson was the first pick in the draft. But I just thought he was better than Allen. He can go get a shot for himself anytime he wants. In the NBA... Uh, Even in the NBA, he'll be able to create shots? Yes, he will. will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. How would you describe, you know, what you meant to him earlier on? Were you like the favorite uncle? Were you like a second dad? In some respects, I really felt like I was a babysitter for him, honestly. Uh, <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to let him take a wrong step. Um, you know, he would come over to our house and have dinner and a very much like, you know, a high school senior that he was. I really felt like that I was kind of a surrogate father to him. I did. We were going to watch over him and care for him just like a mother and father would do. The knowledge of uh, Jerry West, this is how I view the knowledge. I view the knowledge as being like, kind of like a, a golden treasure. And I think that only if you're lucky enough, you get a chance to, uh, to hear that knowledge and the knowledge that they can share with you. So that's how I treat it. Kobe was such a student of the game. He knew so much about the history of the game that I'm curious to know how he felt about you and your place in the history of basketball. Oh, it was really, we had some unbelievable conversations. Uh, I don't think you can repeat the language on the air. <laughs> I used to tell him all the time, I said, you know, you foul too much. I said, you'd be out of the game in no time if you were guarding me. I said, you know the snake, the black mamba? He said, yeah. And I said, so that's, you're the black mamba? He said, yes. I said, you ever hear of a mongoose? I said, I'm a mongoose, and they kill every black mamba. And you can look on YouTube and see these things fighting, and the mongoose wins every time. And he said, he said, I'm not an ordinary mamba. I said, well, I'm not an ordinary mongoose either. And I have a picture of that today in my house. I'm in a coat and tie, and he's in a Laker uniform. Really good. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Have a great day. like a son. Hey. Okay. <laughs> if you allow me, I'm going to read a quote from Kobe. And this is a, a quote from him on how he wanted to be remembered. It's the one thing that you can control. You are responsible for how people remember you, or don't. So don't take it lightly. If you do it right, your game will live on in others. So leave everything on the court. Leave the game better than you found it. And when it comes time for you to leave, leave a legend. Well, he did exactly that. How many people can do that? There's not many legends out there. There are a few wannabes, but they're not really these iconic figures that stand above the rest. And he's one of them. To try to remember him properly, I don't know how anyone else does. I know how I do. 
I loved him like a son. I admired his talent. Leaders don't come along very often. And when someone of his caliber leaves far too young, uh, it takes a toll on a lot of people, and particularly people who cared about him a lot. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.